coming down and the biggest problem that we had on June 20th was the dumpsters and cars and everything else and floated into the creek and blocked the blocked the uh, the bridge up next to Sioux Halls. Now a month later we had a seven inch rain event and it never crested any of the, the banks and it was to the fact of all the cleaning and, and removing of debris and that that was done so we had a clear channel. And we've approached up to St. Clair in regards to helping getting the creek maintained upstream, but that didn't very didn't go very far. They stand on the premise that the the property owners are responsible and they don't have a they don't have a stake in it. Um, we might Mike and I attended a meeting with Gateway and that in all three communities as far as Bethel, Upper St. Clair, and Bridgeville to try to come to some kind of um, uh, block and run watershed um, committee that they could work together to, to solve you know, all the problems because basically McLaughlin Creek is their, sand, or their stormwater conduit that, that all their stormwater goes into that creek it's their stormwater um, that's coming our direction, Bethel and Upper St. Clair. So, one and one of the things we're waiting for the plans to finalize for the trash track, which is something to help the future to, to keep uh, the garbage coming down and stopping it right at the, the borough's line and you making a bypass out of the end of the ball field. So, that we are working on that part of it, and we're waiting for some approvals in that at this time. So it's, I, I agree we have to work upstream all the way up to, to get it together. And like I said, we met, we, we were able to meet with the, the engineers and that, and I think Lori and them have sat down one other time since then, and um, we're looking forward to a couple more meetings with them to try to work out some kind of group uh, solution to this problem. Basically a Mount or um, McLaughlin Run regional watershed. Yeah. Yeah, I think that really needs to happen. Right. I